Hello, Dr. Karen Can here. Welcome to another edition of the Spiritual Medicine Digest. And today we're going to talk a little bit about oneness, that unity. But before I begin, I'd love if you are on YouTube, go ahead and click the subscribe button and also the notification bell and it'll ring every time I do a new video and you will be notified. And if you like this video, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up and also a comment. So today's topic source asked me to share with you is oneness. Now we've talked about oneness before and you probably have your own concept of what oneness really is. I certainly had mine. However, Source wanted me to talk about it again. <laughs> so I'm calling this Oneness Revisited, if you will. And, um, you know, in the past when I thought about oneness, I, you know, I would close my eyes and I would imagine all of the people on earth holding hands. They're like all different sizes and ages and colors and countries and cultures and just all like together as one, you know, singing, playing, just having a beautiful experience together. And that's how I saw oneness. However, Source has, and of course, led me to other, um, let's just say, awarenesses of oneness. So that's what I'm sharing with you today is the oneness, the unity, the reality of oneness is that we are one being, if you will. And so if we truly are united as one, then each of us are just a fractal, if you will, of that one, sort of like a drop in the ocean. The ocean is this one big thing, right? And every one of us is a drop in that ocean. At the same time, all the memories and all the energies, if you will, of the ocean reside in the one drop as well. I call that the holographic nature of the universe. So it dawned on me not that long ago that if we are truly all one, that means from the holiest of saints to the evilest of evildoers, if you will, is still me and you, <laughs> that we are having different experiences and certainly embodied in a human body, different experiences, yet we are all same, like we are all the same being. And that was really profound for me because I had a tendency, if you will, to kind of see the world black and white. I kind of grew up that way, just very black and white in my thinking. There was a right, there was a wrong, there was good, there was evil. It was just really obvious and why couldn't people see it, right? <laughs> However, that was also the time where I was not a very happy person and didn't have really great self-esteem either. And I was always trying to be better, you know, better than I was. Um, I was always improving. It was never good enough where I was or what I was doing. Uh, if I got an A in class, I needed the A plus. If I got top 10, I needed to be top five. And, and that's not that I don't love mastery now, and I like to push the envelope. However, it's a different energy. Before it was a need. It was a competitive need, and now it's just experiential. Like, what would that be like? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Let's go for it, right? <laughs> so this oneness experience is, for me, very much being aware of any judgments I hold, criticisms, things that I feel should not be here. And that includes experiences that I don't particularly like. And, uh, and that includes things that other people or organizations or governments or whatever do that I do not like. And how can I see that all of them are me? Whoa. <laughs> Once we do, however, there is a, a real grand piece related to that, that we're all just having this experience as the other and, and we can experience contrast because some other aspect of us is presenting us the contrast. And therefore it doesn't really require me or benefit me to demonize or criticize the other person, whether you think they should or should 
eat certain types of foods or should or shouldn't eat or should should or shouldn't inject things in their bodies or use pills or you know weird woo woo stuff <laughs> uh and and what they should or should not do that we have a lot of shoulding in our society and it is causing or contributing to quite a bit of disharmony and uh, the opposite of peace. So every day it's like a new awareness for me or renewed awareness to just observe those judgment, judgments, judgments, yes, observe those judgments that I have, uh, things that pop up and come all the way back to peace and that oneness that all is part of the one. And I know some spiritual teachers will argue uh, that, and that's fine, right? Um, that no, 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 um, only the good, you know, only good comes from source. What's well, good? It's all relative, right? To, to one's opinion and one's perceptions. What if everything potentially is just what it is and it is neither good nor bad, it just is what it is. So, I'm going to show you some pictures of uh, oneness when infused that energy and frequency infused into water. Now, there could be various aspects of oneness. So what's really interesting, I sent um, uh, my Ascension 3 jewelry to some very special people in Switzerland who were trained by Dr. Masaru Omoto's people on how to do frozen water crystal photography. And from his work, we know and from uh, popularized in the movie, uh, What the Bleep Do We Know? Just when water is um, connected with an energy, it has a memory. You can look at Frozen too. that Disney movie really explains that well. So water has a memory. And when we infuse oneness into the source water using Ascension 3, we get various crystals. And what's very curious is there's this one crystal that we got that at first I thought, why did they send me that? It doesn't look like a crystal at all. However, these folks have seen all sorts of, you know, the source water versus the placebo water, if you will. Um, the distilled water really doesn't have a crystalline structure at all. It's just kind of bland. So they always do this control. And so they say that they see this crystal in um, unusual circumstances. But they also thought it was very interesting that the water formed this kind of spherical one thing. <laughs> you know, it looks kind of like a donut, uh, if you will. Um, actually reminds me a little bit of that donut that's in the movie, Every There, Every, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once with Michelle Yeoh. Anyway, so that the, the oneness. So they felt it was really representative of the energy of oneness. So, you know, you can perceive it any way you want. Today's Topican healing activation, what I'd like to do if you would like to receive this healing activation is to remove any resistance or unwillingness to experience that inner peace and that true oneness and unity of all of us and that understanding as well. And, and if you are not into it, that's completely okay. Maybe that's not where you resonate and that's completely okay too. However, if you'd like to receive, you can go ahead and get into the still point with me. One of the ways we do that is we rub our hands just to get into our bodies so we can be fully present, feel the energy and chi and heat between our hands. And then if it's safe for you to do so, you can relax, close your eyes and just focus on the feeling of your hands. Follow and feel the flow of that energy or wave in the hands or going wherever it goes in your body. Wherever it goes is fine. No need to judge it. Just let it be there. And by being fully present in our bodies and feeling the movement of this, we enter the zero point space so we can do the Topican healing activation together. And I'll do the directives and you just receive and just notice what happens to the energy in your body. I now command that any resistance or unwillingness to fully experience in a body, in a human incarnated body, the full meaning of oneness and unity be healed and resolved in the highest and best way all directions of time and all realities where we exist with ease speed and grace I now command that the positive morphic field the most evolved version of oneness be downloaded and activated for you and all versions of you 
for us and all versions of us in the highest and best way all directions of time with ease, speed, and grace in the highest and best way. Thank you. So you can go ahead and if your eyes are closed, you can open them, take a breath, and just notice what it feels mm -hmm. like in the body. Would love for you to share that in the comments. So please do that below. What did that activation feel like in your body? Is there a shift? Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. It's all good. And uh, if you have any personal perceptions around oneness, unity, um, do you see yourself as a fractal of the one? Uh, or do you see yourself separate from that? Or is there something in between <laughs> that is true for you? Please feel free to share it in the comments below. Now, a few announcements for this coming week. Uh, on Monday, uh, the first week of January 2023. Woohoo! Woohoo! So happy new year! <laughs> So the first Monday, our first Light Warrior radio show is with our dear friend, Dr. Dennis Lobstein, and we're going to do the Ask the Life Wave Doctor show. It's a Q&A show where you can ask Dr. Dennis and myself um, about what phototherapy patches and what acupuncture points to best uh, help and support re re uh, resolution of whatever symptoms you're going through, whether that is uh, pain or swelling or problem sleeping or, you know, um, anxiety, nervousness symptoms, whatever it is, uh, we are there to help you. And this is open and available to all uh, around the world. And this is our once a week gift to folks in the LifeWave family, whether you're a brand partner or customer or wannabe, um, we're happy to answer questions. And now this one is, uh, you know, the first of the month, the first Monday of the month. And we tend to go into Chinese medicine and a little bit more uh, detail of that uh, well beyond what is in the LifeWave brochure. So if that's you and you're interested in learning a little bit more about Chinese medicine and acupuncture points, and this is the show for you, and I'll put links near this video where you can actually uh, put in your questions ahead of time if you'd like to get uh, to the head of the queue, if you will. And you can also call in live and ask your questions as well. So uh, some cool stuff, new stuff, announcements. Uh, the monthly mini healing is also coming up as well. It's usually the first Tuesday of the month at 11 a.m. Eastern. So we'll put that link so you can share your healing request with me and you will be placed in a healing bubble for 24 hours uh, after we do the mini healing. And then there will be a, a number of lucky people during the call that I will actually demonstrate the Topican healing method using the assessment. And then you can see how it works and um, how fun it is. So you can take a look at the links below this if you are new and are not already on that mailing list to get that free mini healing. Uh, the other thing too is um, we have a number of Healthy Habits, Healthy Life videos uh, releasing. We want to keep all of them before the end of the year. So I just posted the latest two uh, near this video as well. And uh, you can check those out. Uh, and one of them um, talking about hanging upside down. <laughs> the yoga trapeze and the other one is divine muscle testing. We will have one more coming up as well called Perception Kung Fu. And that may be ready by the time that uh, this particular video airs. Um, so lots of really, really great things uh, coming up. And I really want you to stay connected. I really envision you staying connected to me in the light medicine community and that's on the app called circle uh, and that's super fun i'm pretty much there every single day <laughs> uh, connecting with other uh, light medicine and light uh, community members and light warriors uh, as well as my students so would love for you to join there as well uh, so happy new year have a blessed 2023 lots of love to you and we'll see you next week bye for now